Welcome to day 17 of our Holiday Hustle Fitness Challenge. Today is all about legs. We're going to be working your quads and your hamstrings. So when you're ready, let's get started. We're going to do a goblet squat. So you'll need one dumbbell. You can hold it in your hands up high, let it hang low. I like to grip it underneath the ball of the dumbbell and then just keep it up close to my chest or grab it this way and just hold it between my hands. Either way, whatever is comfortable for you. Then we're gonna have a moderate stance, maybe about shoulder hip width apart. Your toes can be pointed out a little bit at an angle if you would prefer. Abs are tight, shoulders are pulled back and we're gonna squat it down. Let's go. Down and up. Make sure your knees are staying wide. Point them out to the sides of the room. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more. 10. Nice job. We're just going to rest that out for a moment. Think about your stance. How did that feel? You want your feet more narrow, a little bit wider. It all depends on our own body mechanics as to what's going to feel right for you. So we're going to do it again. Get your dumbbell in place, whatever feels better for you or a kettlebell works great as well. Abs are tight, shoulders pulled back. Make sure we keep our chest up. Let's go down and up. Think about spreading those knees wide. Don't let them cave in. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. Last one. Nice job. Rest it out. We have to do that one more time through. So when you're ready, don't rush this, but when you're ready, comfortable stance. Grab your dumbbell or kettlebell. Shoulders are pulled back. Think about pressing your knees open nice and wide. Let's go. Down and up. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and 10. Nice job, and rest it out. Up next is the single leg glute bridge. So this one actually is a double win. This is gonna be working your glutes and your hamstrings. So let's lay all the way back on the floor. Back presses into the floor. Hands can be by your side. We're gonna take one leg up. Now you can either have it straight up or you can have it bent across your other leg, whatever's more comfortable for you. You want your, your foot on the floor to be somewhat close to your glutes. We're gonna lift our hips up off the floor and back down. We're gonna do 15 of these. Let's go up. Really pressing with the heel of your foot on the floor. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here's 10. We're gonna do five more. One, two, three, four, Five. Nice job. Let's switch sides. We're going to keep moving. Take it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. One, two, three, four, Last one and switch sides. Let's keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, last one. Nice job, switch sides. Take it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. Four, three, two, one more. Nice job. And switch. Last time through on both sides. Take it up. One, two, three. Pressing with your heel. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. And switch. Last time through. Take it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Nice job. Bring it, your feet down, roll it up, and rest it out. Up next is the L lift. Now, we're gonna sit up on the floor, legs are extended. The idea is to take your leg up over an imaginary item, and tap, bring it back over that imaginary item, and tap again, all right? And that would be one rep. All right, so hands on the floor, this is just really for support to keep us upright, now we're gonna lift that, li that leg up over the imaginary item. When you're ready, sitting up nice and tall, abs are tight, let's go. Up and over and back, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, two more, nine, last one. Nice job, now we're gonna switch sides, same thing. Let's go, up and over, tap and back and tap. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. Nice job, let's rest it out. Shake your legs out if you need to. We're gonna do that again. Sitting up nice and tall, take it up. Up and over, tap. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. Last one. Nice job. Switch sides, let's go. Up and over, tap, back and tap, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, one more, and 10. Nice job, shake them out. We're gonna do that one more time through. Remember, you always have the option of going straight up and down versus up and over, all right? Last time through, let's go. 
up and over, tap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. I know that leg, that leg is burning. Last one. Nice job. One more time through other side. Let's go up and over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. Last one. Nice job and rest it out. Great job. If you enjoyed today's Holiday Hustle Fitness Challenge workout, please give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend and leave me a comment. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do that now so that you can continue building muscle and creating a body you love. I'll see you in the next video.